we're not in football because of the contract. We're in football because we love the game. We're in football because of the work we put. The work determines all those things. You need to focus on the process. The process is the job. Is is you have to win and, and, and do your best at all times. Uh, I think uh, Al Ahli is a big team. Al Ahli knows what to do. And uh, I mean, I'm not the biggest coach that has ever coached Al Ahli. Al Ahli has a bigger coach than me. So I'm just humbled for the opportunity that I'm the coach of, uh, of, of, of Al Ahli. And I focus on, uh, on the process. Uh, those things, uh, they come. They come after the work for determines uh, uh, things. But uh, if you start to look at life differently, looking at the contract, then you, you, you're playing yourself under pressure, you're playing differently because you, you focus on, on on those things. I mean, we have to be honest. Uh, we are in football and I've been in football for 21 years. So why should I worry if I'm in football? the 22nd year. I will be in football in the 22nd year, you know that yourself. The true supporters of al support the team. They don't have to support me, they support the team. And and the true al supporters know that it's important for al to win. And, and, and they support me, and I love them. And uh, they are always there for us. One or two can say whatever, it's, it's normal, uh, it's part of life. But the true Al-Akhli supporters support the team, they know that I'm part of the team and they have to support me because I'm part of the team. And they've always been there and they love me and I love them too. And they know that uh, I love them and I love the team. And that's why I, I believe we will be back here together again to try for the third time, fourth time, fifth time, we write history. So, a lovely supporters support me, and they support the team, and, uh, and, and, and in both ways, the players will love the team. We have a big spirit in Alakhli. I didn't know about the team when I came over here. I didn't know the big history. But now, I know I'm in, in one of the biggest team in, in, in the Middle East, and they won the trophy as the biggest team in the Middle East last year. So I know where I am, and I love the team, and we will be here for long, and I, I, I hope I'm I'll be part of the history of coming here all the time. I don't know what the uh, Egyptian press is saying. First, I don't read and I don't understand the Arabic. So maybe it helps me. So, but all I know that in football, everybody, if you are a coach and you cannot be criticized, don't come to the World Cup. And don't coach big teams. And even if you coach a small team and you lose, you still be criticized. It's your job, it's your life. You have to. Know that, otherwise don't work in football. Football is, is a game of emotions and results. You win, you still get criticized, even if you win, to be honest. So criticism is part of uh, part of the game, and you will be criticized. I've seen Pep Guardiola being criticized. Who am I not to be criticized? Everybody will be criticized. I mean, everybody who's not in the cup, in the cup final, there is always a criticism to say, ah, oh, don't you think you should have been in the final? And even those who are in the, cup, in the final, some, some people will say, ah, oh, but you know, you struggled to go into the final. Don't you think you would have done better? You know, so criticism is, is for us as coaches, criticism is a motivation. And sometimes criticism can be very positive and good to, to, to awaken you, not to be sitting in your laurels and be comfortable. So we need criticism in football to, to, to do better. It's part of our life. We live with criticism.